Time now is 12.40 afternoon on October 17th. Uh, that's right. And uh, I have to leave my apartment two hours later. And I have to leave later to my mom's friend's place because it's my mom's friend's birthday. And I will stay in that apartment. Not apartment. They actually live in an actual house. I will be in that house, sit on a couch, and listen to some music for eight hours. It's going to be very exciting and not boring at all. Um... Anyways, I actually woke up today at around 11 a.m. Because um, because I have to leave so early, I need to immediately film my review. So I'm going to print out my review and I'm going to uh, review it now. And then I'll edit it immediately. Though I don't know if I have enough time to export it and stuff. But hopefully I do. Um, yeah, um... <sighs> this is problematic. Very, very, very problematic. Uh, anyways, uh, no news on the school side of things. No news on the short film side of things. No news on anything, everything. You know, uh, yesterday, um, I actually did even more research on, like, joining... Which classes should I join? I don't know why, but I'm suddenly really interested in, like, fig trying to figure out which classes I should join and not join. Um, because I only have two years, maybe two and a half, right? And I need to take at least 60 units. Say, on average, each class is about three units. 60 over three, that's 20. However, some classes are five units. So maybe, uh, maybe I won't take 20 courses, maybe 18, 17. So how am I going to take as many film classes as possible, as well as all the essential biology and chemistry classes, plus the general education, plus the classes that I'm interested in, within 17 courses. No one knows. It does say at least 60 units, though, so I can take more than 60 units, of course, but A, that costs. The textbook, the class fee, it costs. Second of all, uh, it's going to take more time. So why would I go out my own way and pay money to take a friggin' mythology course? That seems a little too extra for me. I'm not a literature master or something, okay? So I got to have my priorities right. You know, I need to know which class I'm going to take a little bit of, which class I need to take more of. Because again, in the GE, it says that I need to take at least one course in the humanity section. So I can just take history one and then bye bye. Um but that's kinda shabby. It's like it's like you take a little bit, you'll learn a little bit of one thing and then leave. Like you can't do that. That's lame. Like if you wanna learn something, at least learn it deep enough so that you have a basic understanding of that thing. You don't just dip your feet in the water a little bit and then just leave. That's lame. That's really lame. Um, yeah, anyways. Uh, I won't be able to play Minecraft today. I won't be able to do anything today. I'll make a review right now immediately. I don't have to do any college homework today. Tonight I will go back home and watch Ray Zero. Everything's gonna be great. And, uh, yeah, I will see the short film guy next Monday. Let's hope that the world doesn't, I don't know, do some weird shit like make a rainstorm or some sort of a earthquake or something i don't know but there there has never been any earthquake in hong kong for the past god knows how many years i mean there has been but so small it's unnoticeable so at the end of the day nah there there are no earthquakes in hong kong i don't know is, hong kong is is not really in the ring of fire but japan and indonesia are in but because we're slightly more inland, so I guess we're not. That's why there are not not many vol not any volcanoes around here, for that matter. I don't know. Don't talk about geography with me. I know nothing. Out of here. Um. Yeah. That's all. All right. So time now is 1:51 p uh, a.m. in the morning on October 18th. October 18th. 
I don't know why, but something about this date, 1018. Some there's something special w with October 18th. I forgot, but it's it's not one of my one of the birthdays of one of the people I know. So it's not a birthday of one of the people I know. So, anyways, um, yeah, it's really late. I plan to sleep early today. And it's already 2 fucking a.m. Like, I'm actually pretty tired, if you can't tell. I only slept for... I woke up at 11 a.m.-ish, so I only slept for... And I couldn't fall asleep until 4.30, I think. So, 4.30 until 11 a.m. Do the math. That is... Six and a half hours. Plus, the many times I woke up in the middle of the night, it's it's less than six and a half. And by the way, six and a half is not bad. Like, if I sleep for six and a half hours in form five or form six, I would be happy. I would be really, really, like, grateful for being able to sleep for this much. Six hours is actually a lot. But still, it's been a long time since... I mean, actually, I sleep for four hours every Thursday, so... I don't know, man. I, I really don't know. I have some seriously fucked up sleep schedule. Biological clock. Like, I, I just don't know why. Like, ever since May 11th, or actually even before, ever since I stopped going to school for the last 270 days. I, I, I've been experiencing this issue for the last 270 days where I have to wake up in the middle of the night every single day i just have to do that i don't know why it's been it's been like that for 270 freaking days man anyways nothing happened in my mom's friend's place um i spent hours upon hours upon hours researching classes for my college again um i talked to leo and pink and the other guy from uh who is uh, one year older than me and now studying in San Francisco. The other guy, I spoke to him as well about how friggin' confusing it is. So I planned it out, like I planned out if I want to take all the Igetsi classes, general education, plus the classes in my major, plus the classes if I want to take a biology related major. Altogether, even if I take the maximum number of units per semester, I still need at least two and a half years. I still need at least two and a half years, even, even if I take maximum units per semester. That is a huge issue. So I revised the plan again and again and again, and I realized that um, trying to take a biology related minor, it's worthless. I mean, it's useful if you can actually do it, but I can't do it because it's too much, it requires too much time, and it's going to be a pain in the ass. It's going to waste a lot of money as well. So, I don't know if it's worth it or not. But here's the thing, if my film career goes down, I fail, I don't want to be a beggar on the streets. I don't want to be working for McDonald's or something. So I need a backup degree for a backup career plan. That's why I want to study biology, and I like biology. I'm le legit. I'm interested. I want to study that. I, I like that, okay? I like biology. I don't know. So, yeah, I, I've, been, I've been struggling a lot. I sent an email to my counselor. Uh, it's a good thing that we, I have to uh, enroll the classes on um, November 10th, 3 a.m. in the morning. Uh, so I still have one month of time for sort of planning out, you know, which classes I should take um, in the future and and in which time period and if this is feasible or not. Like, I still have a lot of time to think, but still, I got to figure this out. You know, I, I, I really got to figure this out. Um, so I originally planned to watch the New Mutants today, but given that it's already 2 a.m., I don't think I can watch a movie, neither do I want to, so I'm just going to watch three episodes of an anime, and then I'll go to sleep. Which, by the way, it's al I'm already late for that. Like, 
God damn it, man. God damn it. And there are also a lot of classes I want to take purely because I'm interested. Even though, like, I realized that Spanish 2 actually satisfi satisfies both Area 6, which is foreign language, and Area 3B, which is humanities. If I take this class, it can satisfy two areas in the general education, which is great. I'm going to take it, of course. But then, but then at the same time, I love history. I want to learn history. And then at the same time, I want to take that mythology class. I went to the UCLA website and tried to look for general education courses. And there are so many courses. It's actually insane. However, I can't really find a mythology class. There is a classics course where people learn a bunch of things about, you know, ancient Greek and Roman culture. But no, I only want to study a little part of it. The myth part. I don't want to... Culture is interesting, but the myth part. A mythology class solely for mythology? Sign me up. That sounds interesting AF. Um, and then there's the anthropology. I realized that for Area 4, I need to take at least two... Uh, three courses from at least two groups. So, aside from sci uh, psychology, I have to take anthropology which is also a thing that I really am interested I love ta uh, learning about uh, the evolution of culture and and languages like it, it's some legitimately interesting stuff like wouldn't you want to know uh, how English sounds like 3,000 years ago well that doesn't English didn't exist back then duh I'm, I'm stupid wouldn't you want to know what Chinese sounds like 3,000 years ago? Like, I'm interested. I read all this ancient Chinese, classical Chinese stuff from 3,000 years ago, and I said to myself, how does it sound like? Like, how, how, how does Confucius uh, pronounce his, uh, his words? Like, how, I want to know that. I, I really want to know that. Um, but, uh, yeah. I'm still struggling on that part. Aside from that, no news on my on the school side of things. No news on the uh, short film side of things. No news on any side of things. I'm still move on, moving on. And um, yeah, that's all for today. All right, time now is one. Shit. <sighs> all right. Anyways, time now is 1:15 p.m. on uh, October 18th. Um. Yeah. I uh. Uh, yeah, no, no news on the school side of things, no news on the short film side of things, no news on the college side of things as well. I'm still trying my best to figure out how am I gonna take just the right number of courses in the next two years, uh, or more like next seven seasons. Um, so yeah, this is definitely a huge problem. I don't remember what I dreamed about. I, I don't think I actually... I mean, I definitely had dreams, but I just don't recollect any of them. I just had uh, breakfast slash lunch, and uh, my brother's using his hands to eat food. I've been telling him not to do that for the past eight years or so, and every single motherfucking time he doesn't listen, because everything that's come out of my mouth is somehow morally wrong. Um, especially... F during a, a, a global pandemic, you know, you, you just got to use your hands, you know, you, you just got to get your hands dirty. When when we're going through a pandemic, the number one thing you have to do is to get your hands dirty and put it inside your mouth. That is that is a, a wise choice. Really, really, really wise. Um, anyways, what I'm going to do today is um. I'm going to do an album review very soon. I'm going to play some Minecraft, because why not? Um, I'm going to... Uh, uh, I'm going to... Um, yeah, that's... Tonight, I'm going to watch The New Mutants. If it's not available, then uh, I'm going to start watching The Boys, I guess. Um, yeah. Uh, there's nothing, nothing to talk about, really. You know, times like this, uh, I have nothing to talk about. You know, for the last 160 days, I have nothing to talk about because my life is ended. It's over. Um, 
Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, anyways, six days, six days, and then I'll speak to Mary, then I'll confess to Mary. Six days. You know, yesterday Mary made another Instagram story, and it's a story where she zooms in on this boy who's cooking food in a restaurant and putting the food on like a, like a plastic box. So maybe a friend of hers is working at a restaurant right now. And, and the caption is like, wow, you're, you're pretty good at this and stuff. And that, I don't know why, but that gave me a bit of anxiety. Like, what if I can't do it? It's like, Mary's, Mary's a real person, you know? How am I going to speak to a real person? It's, and by real person, I don't mean like real, real in the real world, like real. Like, I mean, Mary's... Mary's uh, social status is really fucking high. Like, how do I speak to someone with such a high social status? It's, I can't do it. I can't do it. I really can't do it. Like, like the if I and Mary were in the same room, the way people see her and the way the people see me are going to be totally different. For her... She is a good friend to be nice to, uh, to talk to, uh, to have a drink with. For me, who the hell am I anyways? I've done nothing. I've never existed. So her social status is so damn high. How? Imagine a beggar on the streets with broken clothes who's malnourished. And who's dirty, hasn't showered for days, if not weeks. Speaking to a millionaire. Speaking to a millionaire in a fancy suit, uh, holding a very expensive drink. Imagine this scenario. This scenario is the equivalent to me speaking to Mary. Me speaking to Mary is the equivalent to a beggar on the streets speaking to a millionaire. That is the equivalent. How am I going to do this? Her social status is it's too high. It's too fucking high. I I don't know. Maybe, maybe when I speak to her, when I say, hey, she's going to be like, why am I even bothering? You know, why do I even bother speaking to people like you? You know, like she's going to respond with something like that. And it's going to be terrible. It's going to ruin my day. It's going to ruin my month. It's going to ruin my year. Um, I really don't know. She's. She's the millionaire with a fancy suit, and I am the beggar on the streets. I've always been a beggar. I've always been a beggar. For the last five years, I've been begging and begging and begging. I've been begging if I can join a group of friends. I've been begging if I can be invited to this event, and normally I would fail. I've been begging if I can have lunch with these people. Because if I don't, then I'm always alone, and I'm ultimately a loser. So beg and beg and beg. Please give give me a bit of attention. Please tell me something nice. You know, I've been a beggar. I've been a peasant for five years. That is not a life I'm gonna go down. Okay, I'm not a peasant. I'm not born a peasant. I'm a social peasant. I was a social peasant, anyways. Um. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Uh, I, I feel like I should prepare myself for, like, a really harsh, cold-blooded response, like, why do I bother speaking to people like you? Or, um, well, nah, you sound, you sound weird, you sound really creepy, just stay away from me. That would be the worst. That would be the actual worst. Like, if her response is, wow, you sound creepy, stay away from me, that would be the worst response possible let, let me let me try to think of any response that's even worse than that you know there has got to be right like she can't be that mean because in real life she's not that mean of a person like she won't be like fuck off but um she would if she really hates me she wouldn't be like um <clears throat> fuck off like she would say probably like i don't know her as well like 
Don't expect me to be some, oh, I know people, I can read personality. I, I, I can't. I can't do that shit. I don't understand Mary, okay? So Mary's probably going to be like, um, like if she really, really hates me, then she would say something like, uh-huh, I'm sorry. Okay, that's kind of polite, actually. <laughs> no, um, you sound, you sound really creepy. No, don't talk to me ever again. This one is the worst. This is the worst response possible. The second worst would be, ha you know what? If she says, haha, I'm sorry, but let's not even be friends. Like, even though that would be disappointing. But at least she's being polite about it. So I wouldn't be as mad, honestly. <laughs> like, if she, if she responses politely and in a very humane way, like, at least I have that to appreciate. Um... I expect her to say something like, haha, I'm sorry, I'm busy, but uh, we can speak more. Like, that That would be great. That would be fucking amazing. That would make my day. That would make my month. That would make my year. If she, if she wants to be friends with me, or not really, because she's never interested in being friends with me anyways. So, but if she's, like, if she's down to speaking, you know, with me, communicating with me, it's already, like heavenly basically like like communicating with with a woman <laughs> i'm just kidding communicating with with someone i like oh my god how long has it been i mean i mean if you don't count the uh interactions with pink and leo and natalie and grant and yeah those are my close friends and then cedric of course uh, but cedric isn't really a schoolmate wasn't you know <laughs> not for a while um mary who isn't in the same class as i am willing to communicate with me respond to me i am already humble on my knees as i've said beggar i'm a beggar if a millionaire decides to give a ten dollar note to a beggar the beggar would be grateful so will i uh, to the millionaire, ten dollars means nothing. It means jack shit. To me, the beggar, it means everything. It changes, man. It, it really changes the, everything. You know, ten dollars. It's all I need. It's all I need. I don't need fancy dates. If she's willing to speak to me, to communicate with me, to maybe share a laugh with me, I've already achieved heaven. That's all I ask for. I'm serious. Yeah. You know, people like me don't don't deserve to have anything that great. Or more like, I don't expect myself, you know, experiencing anything great. You know, I people like me, man. Unlucky people like me. People who's not as smart or as strong like me probably won't experience anything that great you know but at least let me experience something good for once just once please um but yeah this is the most depressive optimistic clip one of the most i've done in a while time now is 12 27 after midnight on october 9th and oh so, I have been really busy trying to figure out which classes to uh, enroll in for my college. And I completely forgot that I have homework and I have a midterms exam next week. So, even though it's already 12.30, I have to immediately finish a homework today. A quiz today uh, where I have to read a chapter in a book and finish a quiz uh, in media class, which I can usually just cheese and, and still get a high score. Uh, but tomorrow, tomorrow is the hard part because tomorrow I have to arrive uh, at a meeting for my short film at 5 p.m. You know me, I wake up, normally I wake up, like recently, I wake up at around 12, 
at noon every day, sometimes even later. So, uh, I don't know, man. And tomorrow, I need to finish another English quiz where I have to read, like, 12 million pages in a textbook and then finish a quiz plus the first paragraph of my third essay. Okay. Um... Yeah, l l let me see. There's a, there's a quiz, right? How many pages do we have to read? It's due tomorrow. If it's like 60 pages... Okay, it's, it's only... It's only 29 pages. No, it's only 19 pages. What? I don't believe it. But it's really hard. This quiz includes one short mini essay question. What is that? Long question? Finally, finally you're gonna quiz us on long questions. We're finally being treated like adults. <laughs> nah, let's not underestimate quizzes and stuff. But uh, yeah, uh, aside from that, I just painstakingly edited my Minecraft video episode 15. I don't know why, but I have the same problem as I have before I use this phone where the videos, man, the videos, they are the audio and the video is out of sync. And usually that happens every single time, but sim in a simple way, even if I use this camera now, it still kind of happens where one video clip where the image is like a little bit more sped up and the audio is fine. But for some reason, in the video that I just edited, the audio is fine, but the video is not a little sped up. It's sometimes sped up, sometimes slow down, sometimes sped up, and sometimes slow down. That's why I spent the last 40 minutes just thoroughly checking, like, when is it speeding up, when is it slowing down, and I chopped the whole thing to pieces so that, so that I can speed some of them up to counter the slowdowns and slow some of them down to counter, to counter the speed ups. That took me 40 minutes. It's incredibly motherfuckingly annoying. So I wish that never happens again. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, such a stupid day as well. I, I waited four hours today so that I can film my album review. So much time wasted. I love it. Um, uh, anyways, I'm going to watch a couple episodes of The Boys later, which is going to be cool. It's going to be great. I'm going to sleep slightly early. I'm going to sleep slightly earlier today. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do things tomorrow, I guess. Oh, there is a midterm exam for or friggin media class as well I better start yeah and then of course I have the midterms exam um, a week later as well um, for uh, my film class so I have to begin reading the textbook actually but I don't know if I have time it's 1230 for for God's sakes um, Where's the quiz? Okay, there we go. Well, wish me luck. Wish me luck. Uh, f five days until speaking to Mary. I can do it! I can fucking do it! Ah! Alright, time now is 12.33 afternoon on October 19th. Ladies and gentlemen, today is going to be an important day. Um, okay, so I woke up pretty early today. So yesterday, I tried to, not not really yesterday, this morning, I tried to fall asleep at around 3, but I can't for some reason, and I eventually did fall asleep at around 4 something, 4.30, and then at around 9 something, I just popped up, and then at around 10 something, I fell back asleep, and I had the another really disturbing dream i remember like a couple months ago uh, i had a dream where 
I couldn't move. I'm paralyzed. I, I'm on my bed. I'm paralyzed. And I couldn't see anything. And someone's touching me. And that was really, really, like, horrifying. This time, I, I'm i paralyzed. I'm not really paralyzed. But someone was controlling me. I was on my bed. And someone was controlling my movements. You know, my hands, my arms, and my legs. Someone... Someone was controlling my movement, and that someone was speaking to me in Cantonese. And I forgot what he said, but he's saying all these weird things. And it was like a, a demon is trying to possess me or something, which is horrifying. Yeah, it, the, the, the dream itself gave me a really, really horrifying feeling. Uh, anyways, that isn't real. I, I woke up again, and I realized that, you know, it's not real. I'm still very much alive and here, so thank God. Anyways, I decided to wake up earlier today because I have a shit ton of homework today. And by a shit ton, I mean two. Uh, but these two homework are pretty big homework. First of all, I need to read uh, about 20-something pages of a book and finish a quiz on it for English class. And then later, I need to read two more passages and write the intro paragraph to an essay also for english class and then today at around 4 p.m i will leave my apartment and go to my mom's office and around there i'm going to meet up with a guy who worked on my short film uh three years ago and um we're going to discuss on our new short film which hopefully i can make it um so uh yeah there's that uh, a couple days ago, I sent an email to my college counselor asking how should I deal with this class picking problem. I still hadn't gotten the reply yet, unfortunately. Um, that's all. That's all. Um, I didn't watch the New Mutants yesterday because I can't. Um, I watched an episode of The Boys instead. Today, I probably won't play Minecraft, um, because before I leave my apartment, I have no time, and after I come back, maybe it's already really late, I don't know, but, um, yeah, I'm gonna not play any Minecraft today, um, and I'm not gonna release any reviews today, um, and uh, that's all. Uh, five days. Five days until Mary. Five days until Mary. Um, time is getting close. It's it's getting close, man. You know, it's... I'm really tired. I really am. Man, five days until Mary. Like, shit. What should I do? Also, I, I should really just start like revisiting my biology notes and my chemistry notes and maths notes and physics notes that I wrote on my notebook. I should start like revisiting them because it's been, how many months has it been? I, it's been over five months since I've studied anything. So like I need to revisit them, you know? And in the meantime, I have textbook in college to read as well, two of them to be exact. And, uh, well, three if you count the English one, but I have to read it now because we have quizzes on it. Um, and, and so does the media one. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's all. That's all for today. Wish me luck. Hopefully, uh, I won't embarrass myself five days later and I'll say the right thing. Again, again, again. First line, happy birthday. She's going to reply with, Thank you, ex exclamation mark, and a wholesome emoji. And then I will, okay, that's, I predict that she's going to re respond this way. It's not like I can predict the future or something. And I, I don't know her that well. I don't know her personality that well. So I, th I think this response is more likely. And then I said, and then I'm going to continue. Last year, I tried to say happy birthday to you. But I failed. So I can't make the same mistakes twice. And then she's going to be like, ha ha ha. Okay. 
And at that point, she can continue the conversation like, okay, why are you saying happy birthday to me? Or maybe she's gonna, she's just gonna ignore me, which is actually the more likely case, I feel like. Then if she ignores me, I'm just gonna continue. I... Do you know why I want to say happy birthday to you? No, nah, that's too... No, no, no. I'm gonna respond saying, do you remember uh, last year Christmas uh, day? Not Christmas day, but Christmas party day. Uh, I talked to you. I was really nervous, remember? Really? Okay, she either says, oh yeah, I remember. Or she says, really? You're nervous? Either way, I will say that at that point, I've been waiting to speak to you for over three years. That's a little creepy, but that's already the least creepiest way I can put it. And Mary's going to say, oh, why? Or maybe she's just going to ignore me. Again, I, I have to be prepared that she's just going to ignore me. At some point in the conversation, she's just going to disappear. Because it's her birthday, man. Like, she's she has parties and stuff. Unlike me. You know, she has friends and stuff. Unlike me. Um, and so, um, so either way, um, I'll say, well, for a very long time, I thought you're, you're, uh, you're a really interesting person and you're a nice person as well. And I first didn't know what this feeling is. Uh, so I thought it's, it's just interest, I guess. And, um, so I'm, I'm happy I can speak to you now. Uh, I didn't think I would be able to speak to you uh, when I was in Form 4. But now... Um, oh yeah, I need to explain. The reason why I didn't speak to you for this long is because I, I'm afraid. I'm shy. I'm afraid. I'm afraid that I'll say something wrong, like I always do. Uh, I'm afraid I'll, I'll fuck it up, you know? And she's gonna give me some encouraging words like, ah, Don't be afraid. And then I'm going to be like, yeah, I know. You know, at this point, if this conversation really come this far, Mary's going to realize how much I've changed. You know, like as far as changes go, Leo's change is one of the greatest change I've seen in a classmate. Okay, she went from uh, a person who's a little weird and super smart to someone who's more outgoing Darren has a girlfriend now. Um, Natalie did change. Jordana did change. But I realized that my change is actually pretty dramatic. Given how shy and socially awkward and superstitious I was back in Form 1. And then I went through like character arcs to reach this point where I am more comfortable speaking about my thoughts and feelings. And, and uh, someone who's more... Um, who, who embraces the fact that he's a loser instead of you know if you tell me if you tell if you tell a 12 year old me that I suck and I'm bad at everything I'm gonna just cry in a corner but if you tell me that now I'm, I'm gonna be like well yeah that's the truth I guess you know I'll, I'll still be the loser but at least I'm not gonna be a, the sore loser you know I'll, I'll, I'll be more uh, acceptant of it, you know? Um, and um, what else, man? Just things, man. I've changed. I've really changed. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, I'm more realistic of a person as well. Back then, I overcomplicate everything. Like, oh, this must mean that. That must mean this. And, but now I'm like, well, real life is real life. Nothing is nothing is that crazy everything is normal so who cares so uh this is the state i'm in right now this is the state i'm in right now i'm being super duper realistic back back when i was younger i am the least realistic person in the world like the 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 number of conspiracy theories i can make and it's not like a popular conspiracy theory or anything like i legit make conspiracy theories of my own not not about me but like about people around me which is great by the way i love that feeling but i can't do that now because i'm not superstitious anymore man has gone into the reality uh full-fledged 
and reality sucks but here i am so there's that time now is 4 34 as you can see i am in my street outfit um and uh yeah i i tried my best to finish the homework but i can't i did finish the quiz uh after reading like 30 pages of the book but the essay oh my god it's so confusing i i don't know where to start i don't know how to start i don't know what's the format like i know mla whatever but i don't know like how like writing an essay in english in usa is so different than writing an essay in in chinese in hong kong like the the formats and stuff are all different like you need a hook and i mean in in, in hong kong when you write a chinese essay you also need a hook but but it's slightly different and then we have the thesis statement sure in chinese essays there are also thesis statements but but we don't need to like cite sources and stuff like what what what's with the sources i'm so confused i'm real i really really am confused and in hong kong when we write essays we're not writing essays off of other people's essays or books we write essays completely out of our own minds but in usa we write essays from other essays we write essays from other readings and texts it's what 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 am i doing so uh i have no idea so i i did finish the intro paragraph painfully but i still haven't done the work cited and then i spent uh i, I wasted 19 pieces of a4 paper to print out the first half of the script i i don't have that many paper um but uh, yeah i have to leave now i'm already late and uh let's hope that tonight there's still time for me to finish the work cited thing and hand it in right on time yeah The sky isn't so bright, and uh, it's actually pretty cool, the temperature. Also, completely unrelated, but I just saw an Instagram story where it's, um... Where it's uh, Tobias, Oliver, Wendy, Wendy's there for some reason, Austin, and uh, his girlfriend, Vera, and probably a bunch of other people in some facility. What the fuck? <laughs> Either way, I don't fucking care anymore. <laughs> you know, they could be ghosts. Alright, time now is 1.10 a.m. in the morning. And, uh, yeah. Um, let's talk about what happened. So I arrive there. I meet up with uh, my mom, her colleagues, and the short film guy. They had a, We went to a restaurant, a charity restaurant to be exact, where um, disabled people, uh, whether... Um, people with down syndrome or uh, mute or deaf people uh, they work there they cook they work as waiters as well um, and they're all from Singapore and Malaysia and they serve mostly Singapore actually completely Singaporean and Malaysian food anyways we arrived there and they had their meeting and then afterwards me the short film guy and my mom uh, we had a chat as well and it um, Making the whole Conspiracies short film is not impossible, but it is incredibly expensive. At least professionally speaking, the short film guy estimated 500000 which is so expensive. And I mean, I was ex honestly, I, I was expecting uh, 200000 you know, honestly, but he's expecting a 500000 uh, So all I need is money. If I have money, then... You know, I, I can have everything, you know, everything in the world is mine, but I'm broke, I'm not. So instead, the strategy is I make a super duper short version of it, which sucks, by the way, which I hate, by the way, but it's the only way because I don't have money. Uh, so at least I need to make something short and have it be high quality. And maybe I'll make some money out of that. And maybe with that money, I can make the longer version though that seems very impossible so i'm going to make a new script tomorrow and uh yeah um aside from that not much else um four days and then i'll speak to mary pretty exciting uh pretty anxious i went into my minecraft school world and i added some quotes onto the walls of the classrooms and i thought it's really really funny 
Um, I don't know if I, I don't, how do I publish maps? Like once I'm done with building my own school, I want to publish it because I really put a lot of work into it. Um, um, but aside from that, that's all really, that's all for today. And uh, I'm going to be listening to some music now and watch some ReZero. And uh, tomorrow, uh, I'm not going to do anything all that important other than um, some college stuff. Um, uh, some, um, yeah, I'm going to work out the script. Uh, I'm just going to take some rest and uh, yeah, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. Uh, all right, yeah, I, I sent the email to my counts, not really, well, yeah, my counselor. And she didn't reply, so I sent it to a different team of counselors in the website of my college. And they referred me to a specific academic counselor, which I need to book an appointment with. So it's going to be similar with last time when I, um, when I, you know, didn't know what to do because I'm taking under 12 units in my semester. I need to speak to my academic counselor, so maybe I'll do that tomorrow, but not now. I have to watch some anime now. See you later. Alright, time now is 12.48 uh, afternoon on October 20th. It is four days until me speaking to Mary. So something really strange happened uh, yet, uh, this morning before I went to bed. Actually, after I went to bed. I realized that this part of my bed is very clean. Originally, there's a lot of hair and dust, uh, and I thought, okay, I'm going to clean it one day, right? And I never clean it because I'm a huge procrastinator. Suddenly, it's very clean, and then I immediately thought, oh my god, someone climbed up to my bed and cleaned it. And that means that that someone had stepped on my green stool. And that also potentially means that someone grabbed this to go up, as well as that iron bar. Which means I'm fucked. So, I, I was actually really worried, even though I felt really sleepy, I was laying on my bed and I was really worried. Okay, essentially, here's the thing, I hate it when people step on my green stool, these steps, because... Unlike me, most other family members in the house don't wear flippers. And the floor is incredibly dirty. You know, roaches crawl over it. You know, my brother spilled drinks and food on it and no one sees it. Um, so, I don't know what's going on there. I, I asked um, someone and that someone said she didn't go up here and clean it. So, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Okay, anyways, um, uh, forget about that. I had like five really weird dreams and I would have forgotten about these five dreams if I hadn't tried my best to memorize them immediately after I wake up. Like I really tried so hard to memorize them. I gave each dream a title and the first word, the first letter of the title I, I memorized them. So I only memorized five letters. And through these five letters, I remember the five dreams. K-W, K-W-P-Q-T. K is, um, um, Kenny and another girl from B class were arguing. We were back at school and they were arguing for some reason, which is really weird. W and P are actually in the same dream. P is Philippines and W is whale winds. And the dream someone told me about whale winds where me and my family and some other friends were in this exotic wooden house uh not that big but it's still pretty big i looked at the window and i saw that the winds are super duper strong and other houses are getting blown away and then i got worried and then suddenly i felt a gust of wind and the house started drifting and our stuff started to fall over and fly away and we grabbed onto the things around us and the house just violently shook it was it was horrifying 
And then afterwards, I searched, I Google searched the word whale wind. Somebody told me this is a whale wind. I Google searched the word. It doesn't exist. And I thought Google censored it because they don't want people to know it. Uh, the third dream is Q and T. Q is quiet town because we were in a quiet town. And T is thick water where I tried to drink some water. And the water, the texture of the water is really thick and and gooey. It's like, what what's going on? And, and glossy as well. It, it feels like when I eat fat beef, the fat of the beef coagulate and accumulate inside my mouth and on my tongue. It's that kind of feeling. I hate that feeling. And I tried to spit it out and it was all gooey and stuff. It was really weird. Um, but yeah, these are the five dreams. Um, uh, I'm going to try my best to wake up a little earlier tomorrow. Also, right before I went to bed yesterday, circa 3 a.m. in the morning, my counselor actually replied to me, surprisingly. Wow, so I don't need to book an appointment with an academic counselor now because my own counselor replied to me. And uh, she said, um... She said it's fine to take over two years of college as long as it meets your transfer requirement. However, um, we only help you, you know, we only have agreements to, you know, help you, you know, achieve your major degree at university. We can't help you do anything with, with a minor degree. You can declare your minor. But I still have a question and that's it. And that is, I don't know what are the requirements if I want to, you know, get this minor degree. So, um, or is it anyone can join, but but you have to take a bunch of prerequisite courses if you want to join a minor degree course series thing. I have no idea how the American education system works. Uh, it's so different from the Asian education system. It's... Um, what else am I going to do today? Well, um, first off, I will take a rest. I, I will try to come up with uh, an even better plan uh, for my for the courses I'm going to pick. So I'm going to give myself two and a half years because two years is going to be really packed. I can't breathe. OK, I'm going to give myself two and a half years in college. Um, I asked the other guy from San Francisco and he said, yeah, I'm also going to take like Maybe a little more than just two years in college. It's fine. Um, maybe I'll take history classes then, if I have time. Second of all, um, I'm going to play some Minecraft. Yay! Third of all, tonight I'm going to watch The Boys, episodes two and three, maybe. And then um, that's all for today. I'm also going to try my best to think about how should I make the shorter version of my script. Episode... My script is separated into four parts, originally. Oh, did I, did I forget to talk about what happened yesterday? I think I, I think I did talk about. So essentially, I need to shorten my script uh, to something between like eight minutes long to ten minutes long, which is tough. But I don't have money, so that's the only thing I can do. Um, quality over quantity as much as I want to do the whole thing. So I originally thought, you know what, I'm just going to extract the best parts out of the story. Episode 3. It's the most intense, the most um, scary, not, not scary, but thrilling. But after some thinking, I actually think that's not the way. Because if I show people like a bunch of really uh, fast-paced you know, exciting things, you know, just drama and drama, bam, bam, bam. People are going to come out of this movie thinking, like, just come into this short film thinking, well, I just see a bunch of drama. That's all I see. However, maybe that's not the right way to do things. Maybe I should show them something more, like, tragic and something that hits harder. Uh, even though it's more slow-paced, but if it hits harder, it's more emotionally powerful. Maybe the audience will come out of this thinking, wow. Wow. Like, when this kind of thing happens to you, and you 
can't do anything about it, this feeling really hurts. This is pain. This is true pain and agony. So if I take a more slow paced approach, maybe the audience will come out of the short film having a being impacted a little heavier. So I may do that. But then again, that part, that emotional part is very slow paced. And and that emotional part is also like you can't just watch that without any context whatsoever. You need there 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 are things before leading up to it, building up to it which makes it tragic. So it's really difficult to just put that part into the short film and call it a short film you know because it's not it's not complete it's incomplete um so i need i need some thinking i really do time now is 5 45 um i have i don't know why but time is going so fast i just finished that i not just finished like i finished editing my thoughts update videos like two hours ago and then i spent another two hours just trying to build automatic farms and build uh, cooler houses in Minecraft. Um, I almost forgot to do something that's even more important and that is uh, planning to go to college. Now, I have two and a half years. Uh, let's say I give myself two and a half years. Uh, now that means, okay, let's, let's go to my, uh, that means, um, I, of course, I want to, you know, take both courses that I like to take, you know, like mythology and history and psychology and anthropology and uh, whatever that interests me. Um, but then I also want to uh, take some biology classes because I need to, I want to, and I need to get a biology related minor. Or something science related. But I can't do anything physics related. I just can't. It just sickens me. Physics, man. Every time I see those weird problems and equations and like a string of numbers with 12 decimals, it just it just sickens me. If it's like three to four decimals, it's still fine. I handle that a lot in chemistry when you're trying to calculate like a molarity of the solution or something. Um, chemistry, though, it's kind of fucking annoying you know chemistry and again chemistry and physics is actually very similar to one another you know oh atoms like the molecular size and intermolecular forces that's dumb not dumb but i that's annoying the biology though biology on the other hand ah, i love it i love it love it love it love it, love it, love it. like it's it's something that i would invest a lot of time into um, so yeah, and then afterwards, after planning some, I will play Minecraft, and I will also uh, read some college textbook, which I did not read at all for the past two and a half months, and, uh, not one and a half months, and I, I will read some, because I have a exam next week, so I'll start reading, start studying, actually, and, um, uh, I don't know, man. I, I I really don't know. And then afterwards, uh, tonight maybe I'll edit some New Zealand vlog, which I've been editing for over a month now. And then afterwards, I will watch the boys, and everything will be great. Yeah. So this is one of the biggest problems I've ever encountered. Um, so how am I gonna, you know, what courses should I take? And I already planned out three years. Okay, three years which is more than normal, which is one year more than normal. And my schedule is still completely packed if I want to study all the courses necessary for um, maybe a bio biology minor in university. And also all the film, not all the film classes. It appears that I haven't even, like there are still some film classes, actually more than some that I did not take. Plus the I get C. The I get see the general education the history for humanities. I got anthropology and psychology for uh, area area four, which is uh, behavioral sciences, and from from at least two groups. Actually, though, I did take 
I am planning to take Spanish 2, which also covers humanities, so maybe I don't have to take history. History is disposable, just as disposable, if not even more, would be English 50 and English 49, which are mythology classes, which are really interesting. And also, this one is actually disposable as well, abnormal psychology. But still, this is necessary. This is necessary for ICAT-C, but this needs prerequisites, including Math 32, 20, 31, 84, and 81. And I'm not even sure 84 is available in summer. And then all the prerequisites I need just to build up to a Chem 10, Chem 11, and a Chem 12, which are necessary if you want to study any science-related minor or major. And then if you want to study any biology-related minor or major degree uh, in university, you need to study at least Biology 23, which has a prerequisite of Biology 22, which has a prerequisite of Biology 21, which has a prerequisite of Math 20. This is fucking insane. Oh my god. Oh, I have no time. Even if I give myself three years, all the units added together is 132 units. The minimum to go to university is 60 only. Why do I have to study 132 units just so that I can barely, barely fulfill and satisfy the entirety of IGETC plus my major uh, requirements? Why? I don't know. I don't know why. English, okay? Only two courses. English 1 and English 2 right here, right? Um, maths. I need to take at least 6, but preferably Math 7 as well, which is only Calculus 1. There is a 2. This is actually insane. This is actually insane. And I'm not counting these, which I haven't even planned yet. I'm so done. Okay, I have painfully removed some of the courses and completely fulfilled my uh, degree, my film production, uh, Associates of Science, which I don't know why is it science, but okay, more like art. I completely fulfilled it, but in the expense of um, uh, classes that I'm super duper interested in and I'm super enjoyed, like uh, abnormal psychology, psychology 14, um, I also uh, sacrificed English 49 and 50, which are mythology courses, and um, yeah, also a math 7, calculus 1. Instead, all, all these classes, by the way, I need to take them, they're all mandatory, they're all necessary. Film 50, production sound, film 30, uh, production planning for some reason, right? DM post, this is necessary, I don't know why, I don't care. Um, I, I know it's important, but but still, Jesus, let me learn something else, something that I want learning as well. Film 40, cinematography, I originally intended it to. Now, film 40, 34, and 34L. Advanced digital filmmaking. Orig originally, I wanted to put 33, but 33 and 33L all together are five fucking units. Are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck? Anyways, film 32 and 32L, I finally fixed it. Uh, also two film courses right here. Actually, I could ditch film too, except for UCLA. Uh, they care about history, so I need to take film too, for that matter. However, if, if I can ditch film too, I can... Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna get that psycho abnormal psychology course, which I'm just interested in. Anthropology too is both interesting, and, uh, I need to take it as well. But not as interesting as fucking Psychology 14 and the mythology courses. Why? Uh... Okay, here's the thing, right? Mythology, right? Mythology. I can at least read books about it after I graduate or during, right? So I, I can at least learn knowledge. But abnormal psychology, learning it in a in a professional way is actually so much better than just reading fucking books. Um, I'm so pissed, if you can't tell. If you can't fucking tell. English 20, uh, which is necessary. Apparently, even though it says... Um, for film production, even though it only... It says you need four courses okay no not this this one it says you only need to take four courses i didn't know that it means one course from here and three courses from here you need to take you need to choose only three courses out of only three which means all you fucking idiots all i'm so mad time now is 11 57 um it's a good thing that today I managed to upload two very big videos. Uh, one is the um, 
the thoughts update and the other is the um minecraft video which i am uploading now um anyways i have finally figured out yeah well a few hours ago i finally figured out how i how i'm gonna plan my next uh two years and three semesters in college now every single semester is going to be maxed out um, but I think I can handle it, you know, because, uh, stressful, I, I, I don't want to be like, you know, I, I don't want to sound cocky or anything, but I, after DSE and all that shit, I think I can handle stress relatively well, maybe not the best, but stress, I think I can handle it fine okay so year uh semester one i actually fucked up quite a bit for semester one already like um uh, i i did fuck up quite a bit i shouldn't have picked media 20 because it's it's basically pointless it's a pointless class it, it's not in the i get see and uh, it's not something that i'm all that interested in it's pointless english one is a wise choice everybody has to take english one in the first semester this is like because like 99 percent of all the courses have english one as prerequisite so you have to do english one it's the basic it's the basis i also picked film eight which is easy no schoolwork at all we just watch movies in class that's it okay next semester okay here's one thing I have finished planning uh, the courses that I'll take in these three years. However, I have uh, removed a lot of classes that I am interested in taking, even though they are disposable, like the mythology classes, the two mythology classes, and the abnormal psychology class, as well as history. But I can ditch history. It's fine. Because in university, there's also GE, so maybe I can learn some history in university. Okay, mythology. This is really interesting, though. Unfortunately, I can't take it. I don't have the time. It's not allowed. But I can still read books on it, right? Abnormal psychology. One school class about just solely about abnormal psychology, where we do case studies and projects about abnormal psychology. Hell to the yes. Sign me up. Um, I can't do it at the end. You know, I can actually remove Psychology 1 and replace it with with Psychology 14, which is abnormal psychology. Um, psychology 14 doesn't have Psychology 1 as prerequisite, Psych 1. But I still figured I need to study Psych 1 because, um, like, um... I've never studied psychology as a school class before, so I need to get into it with an intro class. It's like one. Um, but uh, yeah, on, on my list right here, every single class is necessary. You can't remove a, a, a single class other than the ones I'm taking now because I fucked up when it comes to picking classes for the first semester. So winter 2021 is psych one, Spanish one. Uh, eight units and it's maxed spring 2021 is going to be also kind of yeah chemistry nine uh intro chemistry uh film one which is intro to film um math 81 um well chem yeah chem nine is everyday chemistry math 81 is the intro math uh aka basic arithmetic I'm pretty sure I'll nail this one. Um, Psych 3 is uh, personality development, which is going to be the interesting one. Summer 2021, I will have film 2 and film 31, which is film history and intro to G digital filmmaking. Uh, and it's six units. So if only I have two more units that I can pick, uh, that I can put on there. Okay, fall 2021, a year from now, English 2. Critical analysis, okay, 
which is in incredibly important. Film 20, uh, beginner script writing. Math 84 is pre-algebra and Spanish 2. Next, we have anthropology 2 in winter, which is cultural anthropology. And math 31, which I believe is algebra, elementary algebra. Elementary, come on. Okay. Um, spring 2022, uh, Chem 10, which is Intro to General Chemistry, and, and it's part one, right? There's a Chem 11, which is General Chemistry, the actual thing. And then I'm also going to be taking a Chem 12 a year later in 2023, General Chemistry 2. Okay, and then we have um, Film 32 which is intermediate digital filmmaking, and then 32L, which is a more practical one. Um, math 20, which is in intermediate algebra. Come on, guys. Intermediate algebra. Rational, irrational, and complex numbers, fundamental operations on algebraic equations and functions, polynomial, rational, exponential, and log... Come on, I've learned that shit in I've learned that shit in secondary school. I don't need to learn it again. Circles, parabolas, parabolas. You learn it in, in year in form four, tenth grade. Parabolas are tenth grade. Why do I need to learn this? Why can't I why can't okay? Why can't I just skip to pre pre calculus? I don't need I don't need to take plain geometry. Okay, summer 2022, 20, plane geometry, congruence, similarity, I've studied that before. That is, that is some secondary school shit. Unless, unless this, like, unless, like, cosecant and all that weird stuff is involved in this, because I never studied that. I only know sine, cosine, tangent. Also, chem 11, okay. 2022 20, fall, two years from now. Biology 21. Finally, cell biology and evolution. Cool. Film 34 is advanced digital filmmaking. Originally, I wanted to put 33, but it's five units. Film 40. Cinematography. Nice. Math 2. Pre-calculus. Finally, biology 2. Genetics and molecular biology. I, I am confident in that. DM post. Digital audio. Amazing. I can't wait to learn about digital audio for an entire semester. Biology 23, Organismal and Environmental Biology. Cool. Chem 12. Film 7, which is a Crossing Cultures. Finally, we're watching movies outside of USA. Film 30, Production Planning. Okay. 2023 Summer, which is the last semester. Organic Chemistry 1 and Film 50, which is Production Sound. I hope if... Chemistry 21, aka organic chemistry, is not required for for getting a biology-related uh, minor degree. I will remove Chemistry 21 and replace it with abnormal psychology. Because, yes, give me that abnormal psychology, man. Yeah, that's that's basically it. And if there's some way when where I can skip over, you know, like the math classes, like basic arithmetic. This is some 10th grade shit right here. Fractions, fractions. I mean, anyone around the world. I'm not talking about like, oh, Asians know this. I'm talking about every single person around the world. Learning fractions in college. That's like learning ABC in, in middle school. What, what are you doing? What are you doing? Ratios, proportions. Come on, unless you're teaching sequence, like arithmetic sequences and all that good stuff, then okay, I guess I have to learn a little bit again. Ge ge geometric sequences, that's another kind, but yeah. I wish I could throw away, of all the film classes here I can't throw away, I wish I could throw away like a couple more, um, can't throw away anything that's the hard truth if i could skip a couple math classes and i could replace it with mythology hell yeah um but yeah that's all anyways i spent 10 minutes talking about this okay
anyways, right now I'm going to read the textbook for a little bit. And then I'm going to watch an episode of The Boys and then I'm going to go to bed. Um, I asked both my parents if they had to climb up to my bed and clean it. No, both of them denied. So this is odd because my bed is being cleaned. Someone has stepped onto my stool and I don't know who. And that's weird. So I need to do something about it. Tomorrow, my mom said she wants to bring me and my brother out to the open, to the world, and uh, do things. And, um, well, I have um, homework tomorrow. If Yeah. But, uh, sure, I can do that just a little bit. Um, and, um, yeah, I'm going to my Kindle right now. I need to read the first five chapters. It's a book about film noir. Um, first five chapters. Yep. Um, tomorrow I'm going to handle the script as well. If I have time. Though, again, the homework. And the friggin' uh, midterms exam. I don't know if I have a midterms exam for English, though. I think there's one for... Um, there's, there are midterms exams for both film class and media class. Oh, also, um, I, I didn't tell you this, but I asked Cedric and Natalie, like, what's on the sixth floor? I asked Leo earlier today, and Leo's like, I don't know. I have no idea. And then I asked Cedric, and Cedric's like, oh, uh, computer room. And I'm like, no, I'm, I'm saying under the library. Uh, physics lab. Nope, that's on the fifth floor. Uh, biology. Nope, that's on the fourth floor. And Natalie thought for a while and she's like, maybe it's just science labs. And I'm like, really? I don't recall there being five labs at school. Of course, we have the chem and physics lab on the fifth. A bio lab on the fourth. What's on the sixth? What's on the sixth floor of our school? Another two labs and I don't, I'm not sure if Natalie's right or not. Natalie says she's short. I mean, she's such an intellect, am I right? So, uh, but yeah, uh, her answer is the most reasonable one. So I'm going to believe in her. Um, also, that being said, uh, three days until Mary. I've been thinking if I should speak to Mary before bed on October 23rd, or in after I wake up on October 24th. Um, and by before bed on October 23rd, I mean like th like 3 a.m. in the morning, 2 a.m. in the morning. Because if I say something wrong at night, like before bed and I'm sleepy, and if she says something harmful to me, something mean, and, I, and then I can't sleep, I'll take sleeping pills. Like, it, it's, it's, uh But then, if I say it on October 24th, the next day, um, a lot of her other friends will, or would already have said it to her. So she's not going to be that surprised that I would remember it. Because there's that Facebook notification thing. Hey, it's your friend's birthday. And also, come to think of it, if I tell Mary happy birthday, on the next day, I wouldn't be able to sleep on the previous night. I would be dying of anxiety. So I decide to speak to her at the night of October 23rd. Well, uh, in other words, uh, 2 a.m. Uh, on October 24th. <sighs> this is... I am so anxious. I am so um, three days from now, guys, three days from now. <sighs> anyway, chapter one. Oh, got to read the foreword first. Love, sex, death, and the meaning of life. The films of Woody Allen, Laurence Olivier on screen. A portrait of the artist, the plays of Tennessee Williams, Joseph Losey, Losey, who's afraid of Edward Albee, Elizabeth Taylor, the Hollywood epic, 